If you have yet to play the game Night in the Woods, then you may have already seen too much. Please turn back now if you haven't beaten or viewed the game. I even have a Let's Play on this channel that you can watch, and I will put the playlist in the description. With that being said, let's begin the mystery. During the night of Harfest, May is shocked to witness a kidnapping. Someone, or something, in a cloak and wolf mask, abducted a person and mysteriously vanished. After some investigating and a run-in with a cult, we discover that the kidnapper is named Eid Day. I, I Day. I, I, Eid? Eid? I think it's Eid. So we know the name of the kidnapper, and that he is but part of some cult that kidnaps people and throws them into a hole, feeding some sort of god. That's insane enough on its own, but what makes people so curious as to who Eid really is, is one detail. So after you and your friends encounter the cult and learn about the god, and what happened to your other friend Casey, the cult lets you go, and before you leave, Eid attacks you. During the attack, you can actually kick off Eid's mask, revealing this. This one brief moment has caused quite the tizzy among Night in the Woods fans. People have been clamoring as to who this could possibly be. So, let's go through some possible answers. Eid is Ed Scudder, Aunt Malkop, Casey Hartley, May's granddad, or even May herself. It's been said that the god in the mine can give people powers. Ed Scudder, the one who found the god in the mine, was supposedly able to walk through walls. Eid seems to have the same power, as he suddenly appears in the elevator attack. I do not think Ed was ever described, so it's hard to say whether or not this is a strong case, since all we have to go off of is the fact that Eid seems to have powers. Then there's Molly. I think the main reason why people say it is Aunt Molly is simply because they don't like her, and she doesn't show up at the end. A lot of characters don't appear in the epilogue. That might be because they simply left, or some were a part of the cult and stuck down in the mine. Aunt Molly is one of those that aren't around, but she's not really around most of the time anyway. She's a cop, of course she'd be off on a case or something. I mean, there's still the whole arm thing that needs to be solved. Also, there was a cave-in at the mine. People are probably investigating that. People need a reason for her to be important. But really, I think she's just an overprotective aunt. Besides, Ide has a slit in his ear and Molly doesn't. People really want it to be Aunt Molly, but personally, I just don't see it. Casey Hartley, a friend of the main group, went missing while May was away. Her friend said he just left town. However, at the end of the game, we find out that the cult actually kidnapped Casey and threw him into the hole, feeding the god. Or did they? Now, obviously, Casey didn't have the little slit in his ear, but that was a picture from before. That could have happened at any point. But wouldn't everyone recognize Casey's voice? Well, it is said that the god changes people, maybe in multiple ways. Instead of eating Casey, maybe it changed him altogether, taking a liking to him. Instead of becoming food, he became a servant. But again, this feels like reaching. There has to be something more concrete. Well, with the case of Grandad, there kind of is. When Maid draws her Grandad, he also has a slit in his ear, the exact same one. He has the fluff on the sides of his face and the top of his head. In the drawing, it's more subtle, but this brings me to my next point. What happens when people get older? You lose hair, your voice changes, etc. Now, most animals probably don't lose their hair when they're older, but the animals in this game are supposed to reflect human beings. So maybe when May's granddad got older, the fluff on the top of his head wasn't as big, or maybe May just didn't draw it in the exact same way. When I confronts May and the gang, shouldn't May of all people recognize his voice? Well, the god in the mind can make people live a long time. My theory is that it can also de-age you. If May's granddad became young again, that would explain why she doesn't recognize his voice, as he probably was fairly old when she was young. Now I know the gang refers to them as a bunch of old people, and some of them very well may be. But I think they just think of them as old because of their ideals and the way they speak. They could all be young in body, but old in mind. In the beginning of the game, May describes the time her granddad died. There's an option for him to quote horror books saying, they went looking for the gods and died in lonely places. This is either just a quote from one of the books he gave to May, or this is alluding to his time with the cult, or maybe even a vision of the future. And then there's the matter of the tooth. May discovers a tooth in a safe in her basement. The tooth was a possession of her granddad's. 
Later on, we discover that the tooth belonged to those in a worker's union that kept a tooth belonging to their boss. Obviously, Grandad was a part of some nut stuff. Whether or not the tooth group and the cult are the same remains to be seen, but it proves that Grandad was a part of a society before. This is the one I find the most intriguing. People seem to have this idea that Ide is actually May from a different time. Now the thing to mention would be the ear slit. It's in the wrong place and looks different. But you could argue that Ide was just facing the other way and it only appears to be on that side. Or that was a May from the past rather than an older May from the future? Honestly, it is super weird to think about, but the main reason that people argue this is because of what May says in the library. She says something along the lines of history is doomed to repeat itself. People have taken this to mean that history is literally repeating, and May is caught in some sort of insane loop. That she's somehow both in the cult and not, and she's just circling around the god at both ends. Also, the whole nightmare scape and the fact that May spoke with a god could have something to do with it. Like, it was trying to show May something and that something was a vision of her as the one stalking her. It's very, uh, Empire Strikes Back. As interesting as an idea that is, I highly doubt this is what the developer had in mind. Some people think it could be Bruce, but his features aren't really the same. Some think it's someone named Scams, and he seems kind of similar, but he doesn't have the big floof on his head. There are theories being thrown left and right. Honestly, this could very well be nothing. It's something that was thrown in to make people think and talk and thoroughly search through every nook and cranny in this game. It was something thrown in to make people make videos like this. I could just very well be another member of the group, and that's it. I hope that's not the case. I really want there to be an answer. Personally, I think it's May's granddad. It makes the most sense, and it would explain why they would let you kick off the mask and put such an emphasis on the character's reveal. But what do you think? Do you agree with any of the possible theories, or do you have any theories of your own? Let me know and discuss to your heart's content. Thanks for listening, and see you next time.